This is the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Friday, the 2nd of July. You know what that means. We're on the verge of a holiday weekend. Most folks getting three days off here. Let's talk about the weather. It's unusually dry. Sky cam shots early this morning. These captured about 5 o'clock, some ridiculous hour in the morning, but awfully nice out there. That's the Decatur Sky Cam up in the Tennessee Valley, the sky crystal clear, getting set for the sunrise there. Pretty much the same sky coming from Jasper in Walker County. Not a cloud in the sky there looking back off to the east. And down south, that's the Selma Sky Cam looking at the Edmund Pettus Bridge crossing the Alabama River. You can see the dry air currently in place over much of the eastern uh, third of the United States. Moisture with Alex covers much of Texas and trough over the Pacific Northwest. The watch warning map this morning, flash flood watches up for a pretty good chunk of South Texas. And, of course, that's from the moisture from Alex, the former tropical storm. And other than that, things are pretty quiet. Convective outlooks, the uh, slight risk for today is way up north near the Canadian border. Tomorrow, pretty much the same area, parts of the Dakotas in Minnesota, Nebraska. And on day three, the nation's breadbasket with a slight uh, risk of severe weather. Look at the QPF chart. Absolutely nothing. That's pretty amazing for summer. This is valid through Tuesday evening at 7. No rain north of US 80, but good rain on the Gulf Coast uh, where they'll have unsettled weather on through the weekend. You've got a beach trip coming up. You'll have to dodge some raindrops down there. And uh, the heaviest rain uh, elsewhere right over the middle part of the nation. Well, now that Alex is inland and dissipating, we'll check the rest of the tropics. Awfully quiet out there. And again, about the only thing really to watch, I think, next week will be the uh, backyard, so to say, the northern gulf, or maybe some kind of uh, broad tropical low, but uh, uh, those typically just produce a lot of rain. The deep tropics are quiet, and again, typically things don't really pop out there until uh, August and September, and things might be pretty active. Everything seems to be in place for a busy season. We'll see. Here's the GFS. This is the OZ run at 1 o'clock today. Winds aloft light and variable. Down below that, the air pretty dry. Nice surface high and located near Erie, Pennsylvania. So we'll maintain a dry forecast with the better chance of rain way down south. Tomorrow, dry air is the story. Surface high drops down to about uh, Greenville, South Carolina. Should be a sunny Saturday to kick off the weekend with a high close to 90. And the same thing on Sunday, the 4th of July. A uh, great weekend for fireworks, boating, anything you want to do outdoors. And again, note that little surface low developing down there south of Mobile Bay with uh, rain continuing on the Gulf Coast. Monday of next week, moisture tries to come back. We'll leave it dry for now. And uh, again, that's the day a lot of folks have off. Cold front northwest of the state. And then Tuesday, uh, again, some evidence that moisture tries to come back. And we'll go ahead and mention the you know, chance of isolated showers on Tuesday, but Doesn't look like it'll be much to that. Uh, Middle of next week on Wednesday, the deeper moisture a bit off to the west. Thursday of next week, we'll check the upper levels again. Uh, Westerlies continue to be up north, as they should be for this time of the year. And again, uh, the the deeper moisture is over Mississippi, Louisiana, Arkansas. And a week from today, really not a lot of moisture there. So it's a fairly quiet pattern we're looking at here for the next uh, seven days. And the following day, this is Saturday the 10th. Moisture does come back, and that uh, would suggest a chance of scattered showers and storms. End of the forecast, July the 17th. Uh, Pretty quiet look there, and that looks kind of soupy, scattered showers and storms, typical summertime stuff. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, don't forget to watch us on TV this evening. That's ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.